Hello, welcome back to Sir Assist. Adam here, and today I'm going to be highlighting my top five budget Japan J League forwards. If you do like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Sir yet, sign up use the link below to get a free limited card of 13 common cards on the football version. There's also offers available as well for the MLB and NBA signups. Do check them out in the description below, it really helps support the channel as well. And check out my Patreon as well on SirAssist.com. Okay guys, let's get stuck into today's content then. So as to say, today I'm going to be highlighting my top 5 budget options for the Japan J League. I've already covered the premium options and the mid-price options as well. And I've also covered the goalkeepers, defenders and midfielders right here on this channel. Them videos are ready to watch now. But today, as I say, I'm going to be concentrating on the budget options, my top 5. Starting from 5 to 1. And also remember, none of this content is financial advice. And always do your own research. Okay guys, let's get stuck in then. So I'm going to be starting with number 5. And at number 5, I've gone for Matsuki Kato of Sylvester Saka. He's just 25, this guy. He has been showing some good developments over the last couple of seasons. And starting to score more and more goals. He's got an L40 of 45 and an L15 of 47. At this moment in time, he's looking a pretty good price point to me for this potential output. In the last year he started 19 games, 11 as a substitute, but he scored 7 goals and also got 2 assists. He's also won 1 penalty as well over the last year. And he has got some decent scores when he has been on the score sheet. He will need goals though to get those high scores, but he's definitely showing some decent goal threat. And he is still young, still learning his trade. And he's playing for a decent team as well in Sarest Saka. So, moving on to number 4 then. At number 4, I've gone for Casper Junker of Awara Reds. He's got an L40 of 44 and L15 of 45. 28-year-old has got a long contract as well at Awara Reds until January 2025. In the last year, he started 17 games, 11 as substitute, but he has scored 10 goals. As you can see, he got a decent run in the team as well towards the end of the season. I don't know why he was out of the team in these games. I don't know if it's a substitute or if just injured or something like that. Maybe something worth researching. But when he is playing, he seems to be banging in the goals. I think 10 goals is pretty good in 17 starts. Also 11 appearances off the sub-bench. But I think he's looking at another decent option, especially at these sort of price points. And he has got a long contract as well with Arara Reds, so they're certainly confident in his ability. So moving on then to number 3 in my budget forwards for the Japan J League. Number 3 I've gone for Yoshinori Muto of Vissel Kobe. He is 30 now and the contract situation is a little bit up in the air at the time of recording. So you might need to check on that to see if he has got a renewal. He's got an L40 of 47 and an L15 of 40 as well. In the last year he started 28 games for Vissel Kobe. Scored 7 goals and also got 6 assists as well. Now I think this is pretty impressive considering Vissel Kobe have had a really bad season for them. I think next season they should improve on this season. And we could see Muto's scores improving with potentially more goals and more assists. He's got an all round score of 5.7 over the last year. An average of 48.9 over the last year as well. We can also see here he's got a 100 score. This was back in game week 215. But he has got some decent scores here in the 70s and 60s as well. So he's looking a pretty decent option. Especially at these sorts of price points. So that was number 3. Let's move on to number 2 then. So at number 2 I've gone for Daikai Suga of Constable Sapporo. Constable Sapporo are probably another team that could do with improving next season. And I think they are going to improve next season as well because they are a decent outfit he's only 24 Suga as well he's got under 23 eligibility though only until July 2023 but we do need to check his contract situation because at the time of recording it was set to expire in January 2023 so an L40 of 49 and an L15 of 46 the last year he started 29 games to Sapporo four as a substitute he's also scored four goals and one assist as well now, although his form wasn't that great this was probably affected by the form of Sapporo as well. He has certainly got the stats and statistics previously to potentially be a decent player. He's got 100 score as well here in game week 284 and a couple of 80 scores as well not too long ago. So I think he's a pretty decent punt 
potentially for next season. So he comes in at number two, so it's just the number one spot now in my top five budget forwards for the Japan J League. So number one, I've gone for Teruhito Nakagawa of Yokohama F Mariners. He's fair to now, one we need to cheat the contract on this guy. It was set to expire in January 2023 at the time of recording. Got L40 of 49 and L15 of 57. In the last year for Kobe, he started 21 games, 19 from the substitutes bench, but he still managed to score 7 goals and also got 7 assists. He's also won 5 penalties as well in the last year alone. He's got an all-round score of 6.3 on average, an average of 48.6 for his SO5 scores. I think he's looking a really good option here. As you can see, he made plenty of appearances towards the end of the season as well and got plenty of high scores in the 70s and 60 range. So I think he's looking a pretty decent price at these sort of prices and considering he's playing at one of the best clubs in the J League as well, I think he's looking like a pretty decent punt. So that was my top 5 J League budget forwards. I've already covered the mid-priced options in the forward category and the premium options right here on this channel they're available to watch now i've also covered the goalkeepers defenders midfielders as well in these same sort of categories so do check them out on the channel today and if you're not signed up to Sora yet sign up using link below to get free limited card and 13 common cards this really helps support the channel you can also sign up to the nba and mlb as well of course there's different offers for each platform details in the description below and if you did like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out my Patreon as well for regular scouting on there and suraassist.com. Okay guys, thanks for watching as always and I'll see you again soon.